People all across the county have been posting pictures on social media and sending them into us of tarantulas on their property, in some cases inside their home. Turns out there's a good reason we're seeing a lot of them right now. CBS 8's Steve Price joins us now to explain <laughs> what's going on. Steve. And okay, we're not the only ones. So true. does that make you feel better? Not no. really, right? No. Okay. Yeah, not just a San Diego issue. The entire Southwest is seeing more tarantulas right now. And I can definitely understand why people find them intimidating. They're hairy, they're big, they're pretty quick. And how would you like it if they suddenly showed up in places where you definitely didn't expect to see them? It was big, fuzzy, and on the couch. Oh my gosh, it was like this big. Julia Strada doesn't mind holding fake tarantulas at work, but the Legoland PR director says this real one inside her house the other day freaked her out. I'm not used to seeing those on my couch on a normal day. Julie's not alone. San Diego is seeing a lot more tarantulas these days, most of them males. They're all looking for love. Matt what Thomas, the manager at Pet yeah. Kingdom, yeah. says yeah. they're usually spotted more often in the East County, but they'll venture closer to the coast too. It's the females this time of year, September, October, they uh, will put pheromones on their webs and that attracts the males to them so the males can find the girls. So that's what we're seeing right now. Matt says the tarantulas we have in San Diego are pretty harmless. For most people, a bite will cause a little swelling that goes down in an hour or two, much like a bee sting. But he says they are definitely not trying to seek you out. They're more into bugs. If you have roaches in your house, just let a bunch of you know tarantulas go and you won't have a roach problem anymore. If you do come across one in your house, Matt says, please don't kill it. Instead, relocate it outside. Easiest way is just put one hand down in front of the tarantula, take your other hand and just tap it, tap it on the, on the abdomen a little bit and it'll just move forward just like this one did. As long as you are gentle, you shouldn't have any problems, but if they show signs of being defensive, like rearing up on their hind legs, that means they are getting annoyed and you should back off for a bit. Part of the defense mechanism is they'll actually kick hairs out and they'll irritate you. He says that feels a lot like stinging nettle, annoying but not life-threatening. So while finding a tarantula in your home is not ideal, no. hey, it no, could be worse. Oh, it's also okay. rattlesnake season. Ah! Steve, that's a bit scarier. Yeah, that, that would be scarier. I don't even like ants in my house, but um, yeah, to have a spider that size, it was scary. All right, so here in San Diego, we usually see California bronze and California ebony tarantulas, oh. which you cannot buy here in stores. It's illegal. Oh. So the good folks at oh, Pet Kingdom, goodness. let me borrow this little guy. Oh this, my goodness, he's climbing out. You're right, it's a Mexican red knee tarantula, which are legal to have here. And they say that they sell quite a few of these. In fact, believe it or not, they say tarantulas uh -huh. are very common pets. I, you know, I screamed earlier today. But isn't he cute? Well, <laughs> look how he, is, he is. He actually is pretty And now we know beautiful. how to collect him back up very carefully here. Collect? We'll let oh, him go. Oh, see, oh, he, he see? just wants to stay here. Yeah, thank goodness. But just please don't hurt him. Smart. Just give him a little nudge in the back and then you Ooh. can put them on a paper or in a cup or whatever. And then you take them back outside and they're fine. He really is beautiful. Look here, we'll move him this way so you can um, see him. So this particular species is not that venomous. I was researching before I let you come up here with him. Which I appreciate you said venomous and not poisonous because they're definitely not poisonous. Okay. They do have a little bit of venom. And it's like I said earlier, it's like a bee sting. You may be swollen for an hour or two for most people. Not that big of a deal. And they'll get rid of the bugs and the roaches and all those other things in your house. He really is beautiful. Yeah, but I'm, is. I'm happy that it's uh, <laughs> inside this container. Yes, he's staying right here. And so you were holding him earlier today? I was, yeah. And he was moving pretty quickly. Yeah. And you can actually feel, I mean, he's strong enough that you can feel him on your hand. Oh, so that there you go. So I'm gonna put him back in so he doesn't get too far. Intriguing. There you go. Look at that. But I would not want to see one in my closet <laughs> while putting away my sweater. Not on your couch Let like poor Julie that. did, oh, right? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you. Okay. You're you survived. I survived. It was very good. <laughs> well-behaved. Well-behaved. Stayed in his, little, in his little plastic container. Thank you, Steve. Sure.